hey, we're going to graph this um, cosine function, which has a phase shift. Um, now, one thing that you need to make note of is where the parentheses are, um, because in order to use our shortcut, this two right here must be outside of the parentheses. So if you see that it's written in this form where everything is in the parentheses, then you have to factor out a two. And so we can rewrite this by factoring a two, not out of the cosine function, but just out of the parentheses. And so this is a little weird, but it's going to be a two in front of the parentheses. And then to figure out what goes inside, uh, you divide. So we're going to divide by two, and we just get x, that's what we want, and then divide by two, and then we get pi over two, so have, or minus pi over two. And now we can just look at and see our phase shift. Um, if you don't want to do it this way, you don't have to. You can set, um, <coughs> excuse me, this part in the highlighted yellow, yellow, you could set that equal to zero and solve for your phase shift. Uh, but um, I like to factor out that two, and then we get something that we can see nice and easily of the that the phase shift is going to move this function right pi over two. <clears throat> but before we get there, let's look at the period. Um, so the period is. 2 pi over b, which is 2 pi over 2, um, and that is just pi, so a period of pi. And my amplitude is 3 halves, so that's 1.5. And then this value here is a phase shift, it's going to move right or left or right, and we do the opposite sign, so this is going to move right pi over 2. And our phase shifts are the most difficult things to graph. Um, but we're going to do those last. So uh, let's go ahead and get our tick marks on here. So we have um, a period of pi. And then we'll split that into four equal parts. So pi over 2, half of pi over 2 is pi over 4. And 3 fourths of pi is 3 fourths pi. And then um, we have three halves. Let's go ahead and kind of make this with some tick marks. So that's 3 halves and negative 3 halves. 3 halves is just 1.5. And then let's go ahead and put some dots on here for our cosine curve. So our cosine um, will start at the origin and then the amplitude. And then it's going to go down to the minimum and back up. So this is without the phase shift. But now we're going to shift everything to the right pi over 2. Okay, um, so actually I'm going to take get rid of those points, and we're going to start with just the first point. So instead of this point being here, let's shift it over here. And then let's get rid of this point. <clears throat> and then I would say if you can get to where you can just do the first point and then follow the pattern, that's probably pretty good. So I'm going to go down here, and then down to the lowest value and then back up and we're running out of room so we could keep going or this could go forever so we could just go the other way so let's just take this back down and then back down here um, if you keep going it'd be wise to get some tick marks and so it's one pi over four two pi over four three pi over four four pi over four is pi and then this is five pi over four And there is your graph of the function uh, with a phase shift of right pi over 2. Um, the domain, let's go ahead and talk about that quickly. The domain is all real numbers. And the range is the low to high, so it is negative 3 over 2 to positive 3 over 2.